So here we back. Ugh. So here we are back in Markarth at the Silver Blood Inn, and we can uh, inform our target contract that the contract for the target is completed. Hello. What news? Is Elaine? Yep, he's dead. I killed him. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this as payment and a symbol of my affection. Oh. I'll never forget you. Ooh. My father Klepper is. Oh, she gave me a ring. What's the ring do? Watch that ring do. Want to see? Creative potions are. Oh my God, that's so awesome. 15 more per 15 percent more powerful potions now I definitely need to do more alchemy I was doing a little bit just to experiment around with but now I'm gonna get crazy all right let's head back to the base back to the base hello Astrid ah you're back so how went your first real contract a bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering I'd wager and Didi duty very well. I respect your discretion. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. It's all this coming. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad. But it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones who is he speaking with what are they planning I fear treachery you must understand if Cicero is turning the others against me against us our family would not survive such division what do you want me to do dear brother I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. What? No objections then? Good. Go now, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. <laughs> you crazy! <laughs> This is crazy. Remember, when you kill, we all wield the blade. Uh, okay. Well, this is gonna be weird. Um, so we gotta hide inside the Night Mother's coffin. The, her, her coffin. And, uh, yeah. Yep, he's dead. Here's your payment. And uh, also, that one's dead. I could do this all day. And also, that one's dead. Good. And I hope you were kept. So many contracts, so little time. I don't feel like talking to anyone about that other issue like I normally would. I really don't trust anyone in here, except for Mr. Werewolf guy. He seems okay. But that's just me being biased, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, so now we gotta we gotta go hide in what's her face's coffin there. Whispers in the dark. Uh, how in the heck am I gonna get up there? Eh. You must be talking about the stuck in the water. Can I go this way maybe? Are you serious? Well, how the heck am I gonna get up there then? Hmm. Well, I know one way I could probably get up there. I'm not sure if this is cheating or not, but here we go. Uh, whirlwind sprint. Whirlwind sprint. Ow! Overshot it. I think I can do it that way, though. So let's try it again. One for the money, two for the show, three to... Uh, I'm going to charge my shout. Come on. Come on. Just got to 
point it the direction. Run! Don't. <laughs> I don't think this is happening. Ugh. Okay. Maybe I should ask advice from people. Actually. Hello. You reek of death, my friend. Astrid, da she? Listen, brother. Astrid is my mistress, and I worship the ground she walks on. But this Cicero business has her a bit paranoid. Where are your thoughts on Cicero? I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Uh, okay. Happy well, that was no use. <laughs> that wasn't anything useful as far as I can tell. So I guess we're on our own here. Um... So we got a we got a boost into there. I'm guessing. That looks to be the only way I can actually do this part. Hello. You require the services of the fool of hearts. Uh, I can read his journal. Hmm. Da 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 da. Na -na. Stuff, 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 stuff. I don't know what the deal with that is. Let's just go to the last entry. See if that gives us any sort of stuff. Wait, what? Found the old journal, decided to write a tree. It sounds like he kind of went crazy and snapped, I guess. I don't know what to make of that guy. Nothing really informative in that. So I guess we're back to plan A slash B. Please don't hit the wall. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Okay. Um. This uh, this appears to not be a door, actually. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. Well, that was completely useless then. So I guess we got to go in this way, somehow. Uh. Does that mean I need to steal the key? For some reason. Uh, or maybe I can just go around this way. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping... I'm hoping this isn't too gruesome. Yee! Hello. <laughs> um. hope it didn't crash. Oh, it didn't crash. Okay. Hello? Well, I don't know what to do. So I guess I'm just gonna be stuck here. 
Hello. Are we alone? Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. <laughs> oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Hi. <laughs> yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Whoa, transfer side back off. Poor I'm sorry I had to say it. Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero, the time has come. He has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. 